So what I wanted to talk about today is how to be responsive instead of reactive when dealing with people and situations. It's so easy when something comes up to right away be reactive, right? So if someone says something to you or if a situation happens, you know, you feel something from it right away. Right away, without you being able to control it, you're going to have an emotional reaction, obviously, first. So it's okay. Like, you can't help that. You're going to feel a certain way. But you can control how you respond. So I'm just going to tell you guys some of my tips on how I have learned and learning and will continue to learn to to, um, to help me be responsive instead of reactive to all situations. Step number one is to always take some time. Use the silence. Okay, so if, when something happens, if someone says something negative, if your mom yells at you, if something happens at work, even if you know how you want to react, you know what to do right away, first take a few seconds to process everything. And like these few seconds of silence can do so much. Like for you, it'll give you some time to just really think about what has just happened. And the second good part of it is when you take a few seconds before you respond to, I feel like it gives the opposing party, you know, it makes them think too, but to your benefit, because if you're super reactive to whatever that just happened, something that comes up, it kind of like, you're kind of showing like how you feel fully. And especially if you're in an argument, and if you want to win, like when you, from you being emotionally reactive, like it's, easy for the other person to know exactly how you're feeling like what you want to defend yourself with and as you're just exposing yourself completely even if you take the few, a few seconds to say the same things your your that few seconds of you thinking and slowly responding is is going to change the way that they receive whatever you're saying and i think following up a second minor tip to that is um when you do respond Try to always take your time to respond. Try to speak slowly, eloquently, and don't show your emotion. The more you can take a, take your emotions out of it, the better. People will know what you're thinking. My next tip is when something happens to you, try to remove yourself as the first party and like step into a third party perspective and look at what just happened in the situation. So from a third party, look at the situation, but also look at yourself from a third party. So that also includes like analyzing how you're feeling, how you want to respond, and just like the whole situation. So even your feelings, try to like remove yourself and look at yourself feeling the way you do at that moment. So instead of like, let's say, if my mom yells at me and right away I might feel hurt and I might feel defensive and I might want to, you know, say my points to to let her know that what she says is wrong or like that's not it or like, you know, I want to protect myself and I'm also hurt by what she said, maybe. So all of this, it's very tied to my emotions. But if I were if let's say my mom yells at me for something. And I, at that moment, even though I'm feeling those things, I take myself out of the situation and I look at myself and then I start thinking, I feel hurt. Why do I feel hurt by what she just said? I feel angry or I feel defensive as well. Why do I feel all of these things? Is it beyond just this current situation? And am I feeling this way because I've also had a bad day? Or I think if you're able to just take yourself out of, the current situation try to just try to look at your emotions from like objective perspective um and then using that previous tip i talked about taking some silent time to just process everything then at least you can kind of decipher why you're feeling a certain way and that's going to help you in how you respond too and i think like if you're thinking through everything too you're less likely going to be reactive and you're more likely going to be smart about your response and my final tip i want to talk about is i think everything in life 
happens for a reason. Um, I used to think, and I feel like all people do, you know, when bad things happen, you just like get sad, upset about it, and you complain about it, and you're like, why God, why is this happening to me? But the older I get, the more, and the more spiritual I've gotten, the more, you know, first of all, I believe you know, if you're spiritual, you know that everything that happens to you on the external world is a reflection of whatever's happening on the inside. So I feel like everything that happens to us externally, that's a negative experience, even small things, it's really there to, to test you and to see, to help you grow and to see if you learn the lesson. So if you can deal with things that come up, like little things that come up well, and you can be responsive instead of reactive, that's letting the universe know that you're passing the test and you're more ready for greater, bigger experiences. You're stronger. So you can, you can, you can receive more good because you can handle the bad too. If you want like a great life, great success, you gotta be able to handle the bad things that come up too, right? Like you gotta be strong, strong enough. So essentially my tip here is just knowing that everything happens for a reason and everything that comes across in your life and all these situations, everyday situation, little challenges, it's here for a reason. So the next time something happens to you, like remember that. Everything that comes up now, when, when it's like little things that come up and it kind of annoys me or I get like a little bit upset, I can feel it and right away I'm just like, what is happening? Like, what is this trying to teach me? What, what am I being tested for right now? Like, how am I reacting? Why am I reacting like this? How can I make this situation to my benefit? Even if it's a negative experience, how do I change it now, right now? How do I respond so that I can change the situation? And what can I learn from this? And you feel good too when you, when something comes up and you deal with it and things become better and you're just like, wow, like, especially for me, like now that I'm doing all this, when things that come up now that used to piss me off or I used to know I can't handle well and I'm now able to handle a lot better, you feel good too, it's like an achievement. So yeah, those are all my tips for today. So to reiterate everything I just said, to summarize, when situations come up in life, negative situations especially, or negative people saying something to you, always respond instead of react. And the way to do that is, number one, oh, and I forgot to mention one thing too, another side bonus tip. Never take anything personally. The less you can take things personally, the easier it is to deal with anything. Just always remember, like even if something happens, someone's super emotional, that's their current state, something triggered them too. It's like life. And then after this present moment passes, like who knows what's gonna happen next? And who remembers what happens yesterday? I don't remember what I do like on a day to day. People ask me what I did. What I do on the weekends, I never remember. And not because I like had this like crazy weekend, I just don't remember, you know? So don't take anything personally. No one's gonna remember this shit anyways. <laughs> so anyways, that's my side and side throw in tip, but okay. Summarize, always be responsive instead of reactive. And how to do that is when things come up first, don't take anything personally. Second, Take some time to process. Something happens, don't react right away. Take some time to process. What just happened? What just happened? And while you're processing, take yourself out of the situation and view the situation from a third party, including viewing yourself from a third party, your emotions, your feelings, and your thoughts. Look at it from a third party. Take some time to process. Once you've taken that time, respond in a slow manner, slow and calm, and try not to put your emotions in it. Slow, calm, non-emotional. Um, and yeah, so then that's how to deal with the communication, but on a larger scale, just always remember that everything happens for a reason. And when difficult situations arise, it's really there to help you grow. It's really there to help you learn and overcome these situations. Okay, it's late. Hopefully I said all that eloquently enough, but that was, this was like an important 
important points I wanted to share. So hopefully that resonated. Hopefully I got my points across. All right, that's it. Thank you guys. See you guys next time.